Welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. Uh, that is always greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for all the comments that uh, I've been receiving lately. Truly appreciate it. Loved a little kind of banter back and forth. And, and uh, so it's very, very nice. So thank you for that. Um, got an awesome shape lined up today. Woke up today, wasn't sure what I wanted to shave with. Uh, definitely need one. Uh, and uh, kind of went through a couple of different pucks, did some kind of smelling around and uh, landed on this right here. Uh, which is fantastic. This pie may smells really, really good. And uh, come for your serving of whoop ass. And that's just the mood <laughs> that I'm in today. So I was like, uh, I will do just that. So that's going to be the soap. But you know, how we do it. We do a one passer. We do the sides, leave the goatee. Uh, and if you're not familiar, that is how we roll here. But first and foremost, we get to the tools of the trade. So I picked out some good stuff here today. So let's get to it. Uh, to me, I would think Pyme would want to shave with a, a tool that was crafted to perfection and uh, just uh, to exquisite design. And to me, that makes me think of the Yates Precision. And this is their brass razor that they did for me. And they did the logo on the cap, which is just so cool. This thing is really, truly just fantastic. The tolerances and the lockup on here and the feel are second to none. They're, they're very, very good at what they do. So uh, if you're not familiar with them, you should definitely check it out. And uh, I love this brass one. I, I just think it's just a, just a real bad ramajama. So in here, no surprise to anybody, we do have a Yates. I was, we have a Balzano in the Yates. So there's those, boom, boom. Uh, that takes care of those. Down below, chilling in the hot water, we got the little collaboration brush. Uh, I love this Sicilian brush. Um, this was the handle is from Opus Brush Co. And then Mystic Brushes was kind enough to drop this knot in here. And look at that silver tip badger. It, it is a monster. I think it's a 27 millimeter. It, it's a beast. So this guy's a really just a, unbelievable. And then down below, we've got the Vanulay Honeycomb Bowl. And then also this is a little design from Opus Brush Co. as well. This was their kind of special edition. And I, I love the dragon play on this, especially with this particular soap. So tools out of the way. Let's get back to the soap of the day and get the water off of it. <laughs> so uh, again, here we go with the Hendrix Classics & Co. This is Pi May. This is a really fantastic scent profile up here. And this is inspired by African leather, which is from Mimo Paris. And um, right off the puck, you do get a beautiful scent profile of that, uh, which we will get to just shortly. But let me give you the full rundown here. So you can see wonderful label. I mean, just gorgeous label. And then on the bottom, they kind of give you all the, the ins and the outs. There we go. So, uh, so in here, let me give you the breakdown. We got cocoa butter, cocum butter, Aleppe butter, glycerin, coconut oil, castor oil, bentonite clay, and Tusa silk. And those are fantastic ingredients. So, and I love when they have, when there's clays in the soap because they, they really do leave behind a wonderful textured feel or, or when they're smooth feel, I should say, uh, to the skin when it's done because the extracting of all the dirts out of the pores uh, is just what clay does. And it, it just, you know, I just find very lovely when you, when you get that in a soap. So um, that residual feeling after is just very, very nice for me. Um, so to that, let's get to the puck. And here is the pour. You can see pretty standard. Uh, this guy goes for $24.99 on their website. It's four ounces. Uh, this was graciously sent to me by Hendrix, um, so truly appreciate that. Uh, they were like, hey, have you tried this one? You know about it? I said, no, no, no. And they said, well, you know, come in your way. Uh, let me know your thoughts. And I said, well, you know, by all means, I'll, I'll do the full review for you. I mean, you know, why not? I mean, you know, so let's, uh, let's roll with it. So to that, you definitely get a beautiful leather scent coming right off of it. it it's, that definitely jumps right out and catches you. But you definitely, it is a warm, spicy uh, happening in there. So you, you definitely, uh, which is very, very nice. Definitely getting some, uh, some cardamom, which is really quite lovely as well playing in this. But that warm, spicy is very nice. And then also um, some geranium. Those are the things that I'm picking up thus far. So, uh, so really, really nice. But it's, it really, the, the overall is a, is a good leather. 
and then uh, like a warm spicy. Almost kind of takes you to a floral type of feel to it or, or scent, um, but leather warm spicy is really what I'm feeling right off the gate. Very, very lovely though. Uh, we're going to scoop this uh, out with this beautiful little uh, Hendrix shovel or a little soap pick. So uh, we're going to use this today to scoop. Normally, I just grab the finger and, and just you know do it that way. But uh, let's utilize this cool little tool that they were nice enough to send along, and um, which is really nice. So you can see this. Oh, that's fantastic! So this guy scoops up quite lovely. I'm sorry. I hope you've got that. So I'll give you another little shot there. So Shazam! That's awesome. So I'm easy. I can just grab it out with my hand. I don't care. So uh, we'll scoop a little bit more, but uh, nice to have a little tool. This has got a lovely scent profile to it. So I'm wondering how it's going to punch up uh, as we move it along. It's going to be very, very interesting because it's, it's got a pretty good scent, you know, right out of the gate, um, which I do appreciate. Sometimes you get these soaps, they're sleepers. You can't get anything. And all of a sudden they, they jump all over you. So I think that looks pretty good. Let me do it just a smidge more and I'll show you what we're working with here. It was just one side of the bowl that was just lacking. All right, get the water out of there. There we go. So pretty straightforward. That's usually where I wind up going. Um, okay, let me move this out of the way. Uno momento. I'm pretty fresh out of the shower, folks. Gosh, maybe 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Uh, so let me just wet the face, we'll wet, wet the runway, heat up the blade, and, and, and let's get to it. Stand by. All right, all right, all right. Now, I am not familiar with um, uh, African leather from Memo. So... And, you know, usually I like to try to grab a sample of something if I can or if the missus has it. Um, but I was not able to do so on this particular one. No big deal. Going to run it like we do. You know what I mean? So let's get this let's get this guy fired up. This guy's a beast. So let's see how, uh, how much of this soap it devours. But beautiful scent coming off of here. I love the logo. I love the play off of Kill Bill. I mean, love those movies. Um, huge, huge Quentin Tarantino fan. Um, I remember back in the day, um, and back when I was actually in the acting world, um, I remember Reservoir Dogs, just the, the talk of it uh, coming around. And I remember going to catch that. Uh, I was in New York City at the time. And uh, I watched that movie, and I was just like, good Lord, man. I'm like, this is going to change some of that, dy that dynamic in cinema. And... Uh, very, very cool. And, and of course, all his other movies, you know, since then are just phenomenal. Huge, huge fan. So love what he does. But Luann, look, we're just kind of turning this guy just for a, just for a little bit here. And uh, off to the races we go. So pretty cool. Wow, look at this. Hold on, I'll give you a shot. Say, look at this, but you can't see in here unless I show you. So that's literally, I mean, what do I got? 20 churns on this? This beautiful little soap butter. Um, so uh, with that, I think I'm gonna go to the face. Oh, that's a that's a beautiful scent. Oh wow, that's quite lovely. It, it's got a good intensity to it. So, um, but it, it's it's a wonderful scent. So I don't. I heard some people say that you know um, you know that it was extra. Um, I guess a little bit more pungent than what they normally like to do. I think Hendrix had actually even stated that. Um, but I I see no. No cause or issue with that at all. It's wonderful. Still got some soap down there, so I'm gonna let just hit a little bit more. I can see the remnants chilling down there in the bowl. So, and I love, I really do. I love the, the play on this particular character. I think it's just super cool. I love the label and I just think that's just so awesome. Look at that. That is beautiful. So, uh, you've got all the pertinent info. Let's drop the glasses. Get to it. Let's have at it. Oh yeah. Oh, fantastic. Wow, this this scent. Holy mackerel. Look at the way this thing kind of takes shape. Oh. But you've got a beautiful base to work with here. So this is no surprise what's woo, slinging soap. Holy mackerel. 
Look at this. It's off to the races. And I haven't even really worked it in on the face yet. It's a very, very strong, leathery, spicy scent coming at you. So as I'm working it up, it definitely picks up. Get the soap out of my mouth. So, uh, so I kind of get a little bit where they're going there. Um, it definitely has a, a strong, you know, scent profile. This is not subtle uh, by any sense of the word. So, you know, when going into, look at the, look at the lather, the holy cow. This thing blew the heck up. I mean, wowzer. Look at that. So, I mean, and I still got some remnants in the bowl. So I could have kept going with this guy uh, with no, no problem whatsoever. So let's get to it. I don't think I need the bowl anymore. Get this off. Slinging soap here on my shirt. Okay. So let me get this guy going and see what we got going here. So you can see the more I work it, it just goes and goes and goes. It's a nice creamy lather. It's not extremely dense, which I would have expected a little bit, you know, with the with the butters. But look at that. That's gorgeous. So get out of my mouth. Uh, so very, very wonderful texture. It's it's a gorgeous feel. It really is. Oh my goodness gracious. It literally produces a monster amount of lather. Uh, no two ways about that. And I, I really worked this for a very short time. So you got a gorgeous lather going on here. Uh, as you can clearly tell, the paint to brush aspect of it, the feel, it, it is very nice. It's a very luxurious feel. It's a creamy texture, uh, no doubt about that. So uh, it's not like super, super dense. Uh, so to, look at how much I got on my face. So this is kind of crazy. Uh, so it is a wonderful feel, uh, and it, it does provide, I would say, again, uh, not to beat a dead horse, um, but it is a very creamy texture. So great scent profile. It is a stronger scent profile faux show, so you can see there. Um, but it's a lovely scent, so it's not like um, – hold on a second. I'm sorry. Yeah, I need some of that soap in my – so it's not where it's um, this pungent scent profile that's coming at you and you're like, oh man, I can't take it anymore. You know what I mean? This is just, it's overwhelming. I don't get any of that at all. So it's very nice. You like a nice, warm, spicy, leathery, you know, almost floral scent. Uh, you'll take it. No doubt about it. So let's get to it. Let me heat this up. And there is one previous shave on this Balzano that's in here. So this is shave number two. And then after that, uh, Skidoo, it's over and it's done for me. I just used them twice and I move on. Beautiful lather. So you could. this is a very nice creamy texture that I got here. The glide felt very wonderful uh, with the application. So uh, kudos on all of that. I really like the scent profile. It is very, very inviting. And let's get to this. Oh, whew. that is, that is slickety slick slick. That is some crazy residual slickness. So uh, kudos. Yeah, that, that's like, my face is like wet. That's phenomenal. Wow. That's, that's some serious residual slickness. And I've had the pleasure of using a few of his soaps, uh, others, uh, and I've had great experiences with all of them. I've purchased a few in the past, and um, they've been very, very good. So, wowzer, man, this this razor. So, look at it channeling through. That's a wonderful scent. That's just absolutely wonderful. So, so super, super happy with that. I don't really feel that, uh, again, like I said, I know, I guess some had claimed that maybe it was a little bit strong. I, I, you know, if, if I remember correctly... Uh, I apologize if I'm not, um, but I, I don't feel that way at all. I think it's quite lovely. Man, this thing. Wow, sir, man. I don't know if you get any of that feedback, but it's wonderful. This razor, I mean, honestly, Yates is just, 
They're so, so good at what they do. One of my favorite razors. I mean, you know, I love my Gillettes and such, but this is really, uh, I look, I could still go back over here and, and do stuff if I need to. All right, let's get under here. Love my vintage. I do. But this guy, ah, it's just a dream come true. Awesome. And here. The lather was wonderful. Uh, which I'm not surprised. Those ingredients, I got exactly what I thought I would get out of here. Uh, with the with the exception of the residual slickness, that that I don't recall being. Uh, I'm not sure whether it was the other ones or not, but a phenomenal residual slickness. Just get some of the cleanup down here on aisle five. Oh yeah, I always got it down here. Always left over. But everywhere else. Fantastic. This is just one of those spots where, for me anyway, a little cross grain there. Why not? Totally enjoying the scent profile on this. It's beautiful. Might have to take a look at that African leather uh, cologne. Wonderful. Wonderful. Let me clean up. Right, all right, all right. We'll do the uh, soap shot. Let's get to the towel of luxury. This is Lancaster razor work. I mention it every time now. I can't help it's such an awesome towel. It's crazy that something so simple would be such a game changer in your shapes. I love this thing. And I do love this color, this tobacco ash. Mm. So, Ah, uh, thank you there, Lancaster. It's a really love, lovely scent. Lovely. It's a really lovely scent. It's It can, for some, maybe it's a little bit strong. You know, I didn't find it overpowering. I didn't find it, you know, obtrusive during my shave. Uh, it was quite enjoyable. The lather and everything else was uh, went off like, like a firework. I mean, it was just fantastic. I mean, look at this brush. is just engulfed in lather. So... This thing's going to just, oh, I can't, this is just ridiculous. <sighs> this thing's a beast. So look at this. So you could see where I was going as far as creamy. Look at that. That is, that is so creamy. So the depth on it, uh, it's fantastic, but it's not like, you know, a really dense, dense, you know, uh, soap. It's just that beautiful, creamy, look at the sheen on that. Gosh, I'm trying to get you in the good light there, but that is a thing of beauty. It smells wonderful, absolutely wonderful. So, to me, home run across the board. Especially, uh, you know, you nail that crazy residual slickness. I gotta think of what splash I'm gonna hit with this guy. Probably just a bomb. But anyway, jib jabbed and jibbed and jabbed all the way home. Ladies, gents, thanks for always tuning in and catching these. I hope you enjoyed the shave as much as I did wonderful wonderful product so uh it, it ticked all three boxes for sure great shave one and done done and dusted catch you on the next one enjoy your day and enjoy the shaves take it easy